What up, dogs? Welcome back to you. Garo Attacks by of Isaac Rebirth. Rawr! Let's get right back into it. Um, yeah, last last loss run. We did good things. As you can see, we beat Satan on hard mode. Awesome. I would have loved to also beat the lamb as well, but it just wasn't in the cards for us. Uh, it just means we got at least two more runs with the lost in us. Means we're gonna play with the lost a little bit more often than not. Some of you might think that's a good thing, some of you might think it's a bad thing, but that's what's gonna happen. Uh, otherwise, we're playing as Eden today. Uh, just to save things. I think we have uh, the perfume, right? Yeah, charm tears, and then the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the space bar item, the boomerang, which is interesting as well. It'll be useful on the caves, hopefully. And we have two spirit hearts. And decent enough damage. And we have this pill right here, which we're gonna take. Explosive diarrhea. And we also have Loki's horns. We get Mom's Tears here. Or Mom's Eye. Not Mom's Tears. We get Mom's Eye here. This could be interesting. Our tears are, like, so fucking bad, though. So fucking bad. Wow, he... He just loves blocking my boomerang with his own enemies, doesn't he? There we go, that's what we wanted. Wow, the the freezing on the boomerang doesn't actually do a whole hell of a lot. It's okay though, we got a tarot card from this encounter. Um, oh wow. Loki's Orange is actually helping out in the tiniest, tiniest bit by, uh, by doing a little bit more damage uh, whereas my t whereas my tears are actually just really fucking bad and I totally forgot mom's perfume is actually not charm tears it is fear tears which is which is weird to me is it mom's perfume or is it hold on. yeah it's totally mom's perfume got into your eye uh, what's charm tears then I totally forget it's, uh, mom's it's not lipstick it's it's something else to, like, it's a piece of makeup, I remember. The Charm Tears. It was, what was it? I, I don't remember, honestly. Is Mom's Perfume... What would the... Like, I am drawing a straight-up blank right here. I know it's a newer item, but I've been playing this game for a long time, regardless of how new it is or not. Came out in November, I basically started playing it right away. Um, it is now March. Let's, let's count it up. November... It was, it was the end of November, so let's not count November. It's December, January, February, March. It's been like... Well, let's not count March either, because it's early March. Uh, excuse me. Um, so, December... J we've, we've only been playing this game for like three months. I mean, we've, we've sunk a ton of hours into it, I'll tell you that much. Oh, wow just came right the fuck back to me without hitting anyone. Interesting. Um, yeah, we sunk a ton of hours into it in those three months, though, so, like, I feel like I know this game, but at the same time, I didn't even know how long I was playing it for, so maybe I don't know this game. Um, <clears throat> regardless, I should know, even though I get this item very rarely, I should know what it does, or what the name of it is, and what the other one that I always mix it up for is. It's Mom's Perfume is the one that makes you afraid when you think it should attract you. I remember that part. Um, but, uh, come on. Come on, man. There we go. But it's all... But there's one that you think it should fear you, but it instead attracts you. I... What is it, like, Mom's Pantyhose or whatever? Honestly, if with... If they're adding new items to the game, they can only do good. They can do no wrong, basically, is what I'm trying to say, if they just add more Mom items. <laughs> I feel like, every, everyone's already doing the inside jokes on Mom's items, like, oh, this is Mom's Key, this is Mom's Cat of Nine Tails. Uh, just add more mom items, actually. Why are our hands on- Oh, our hands are on fire because of the matchbook. Alright, yeah, we got a ton of bombs there. That was nice. That was nice of the game to do that for us. Otherwise, I'm using one over here. Yeah, I figured there'd be a secret room. Uh, I was thinking, yeah, mom's pantyhose, mom's fucking tampon or whatever. 
Just a ton of mom items. That would be that would be the hilariousest shit right there, in my opinion, my humble opinion. Uh, what do we do now? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. Our boomerang actually kills this dude without having to use a uh, bomb or nothing. And uh, anything else? We could go into the shop right now. What what would be the point of that though? Nothing. Nothing would be the point of that. We have the lover's card there. And we did get a black heart from uh, that evil upgrade. We didn't get the actual uh, HP up. But I'm hoping to get one right before the uh, deal with the devil, inevitably, on this uh, floor. Um, also, the uh, the fear effect from... Oh, fuck. That was bad. The fear effect from uh, the perfume that we have. Mom's perfume, I think it's called. Uh, all of my, uh, okay. Interesting. You know what? I like, I like the boomerang better. They'll give us more consumables, uh, presumably, which will presumably give us more items. And y'all know how I love fucking items, regardless of if they're bad or good. I just love hu fucking having them. Uh, but I did read somewhere that, uh, the luck, the base luck stat to have, um, to have 100% uh, fear shots from uh, Mom's Perfume is like super high. It's one of the highest actually. It's like you need like 120 luck or something to be shooting 100% fear shots. There's one where like there's no way you can shoot 100% of this type of shot. I forget what it was. It might have been like uh, Charm Tears somewhere. But uh, other than that, I think uh, most items, if you have a high enough luck stat, It'll just come out 100%. Uh, the, the teeth is, uh, is not the easiest one, but it's one of the easier ones. It's like all you need is like a 45 luck stat or something. I should really look these up again. I, I looked it up like offhand one time because I was curious. And, um, and then I just never remembered any of the values. I was just like, yeah, it's, it's interesting how that sort of thing happens. Um, I should go back and look up the values, though. Okay. The boomerang doesn't go that long of a distance, does it? Interesting. What if what if uh, you throw it and then you dodge out the way? Nope, it comes to you every single time. All right. All right. Well, at least that fly is feared. I wonder what happens to the purple flies when they're feared. Do they affect the other purple flies as well? Do they start circling away? Or do they just run away? I don't know. Or do they go slower? I've never feared a purple fly. I'll... One of those, like, purple ring flies. I'll have you know. That is one mechanic in this game that I just don't... I just don't understand yet. It would be an interesting one to figure out, though. Like... The, the wiki is still incomplete on Isaac. I don't know if you know this, but, uh... Yeah, it does have, a, like, a ton of info on it, but there's not, like, every single, like, thing on there. And sure, people could data mine for all that info, but I prefer to do it the old-fashioned way, coming across it. Oh, fuck. Coming across it in-game. Just being like, oh, shit, that's pretty cool uh, synergy. I might want to tell people on the wiki about this. Uh, and then later on, you're just like, you know what, I'm too lazy. Let's just fucking let someone else fucking do it. Basically, my thought process every single time. Whenever I find something cool in Isaac, I go, like, oh, I should tell people. And then I'm just like, you know what? Nah, they'll figure it out. <laughs> it's really bad. Uh, it's really bad. It's real lazy. But also, I'm a fucking busy dude, dog. I'll tell you what. Once I get less busy, which, which you know, full disclosure is never. I'll never get less busy. But once I get less busy, I will totally do shit like that. Maybe. Not even giving y'all a straight answer is like, first off, it's never gonna happen. Second off, even if it does, probably not even gonna do shit anyways. That's, uh, that's the extent. I just noticed all these fires, like the, um, the little, uh, little ashy things that come off the top of them, those are, like, pixelated and stuff, and I think that's super cool. I like it a lot. It's like, you, you notice, you don't notice the little things in that. Maybe I shouldn't pick that up yet. You don't notice the little things in Isaac. Until until you wake up from a uh, fucking 
Zequil hangover, immediately drink like two and a half energy drinks, and start recording. My uh, my wrist, my right wrist is doing that thing right now where it's like in constant pain. Uh, but it'll like don't worry though, it'll go away in like two seconds or like two days, like one or the other. <laughs> Don't worry about my life, you guys. It's, you know, sure, I won't come out with new videos, but hey, I already have like almost 200 videos on here, so I feel pretty good about that. Maybe I'll turn into a fucking Picasso, like, when I'm done, when I'm dead. Like, people, like, once I'm dead, they'll find the value in my work. They'll be like, holy shit, this is actually really, really funny stuff. I never, I never knew in, until he fucking died and made his stuff way more popular because of it. And that'll be the legacy that I leave. I am the fucking Picasso. Oh fuck, that was a bad usage. I am the fucking Picasso of uh, of YouTubers, or the or the Tupac of YouTubers. And again, Tupac was popular when he was alive. I would love to be the Tupac of YouTubers then, because I'll be popular when I'm alive and po still popular when I'm dead. Possibly even more popular when I'm dead. And as you all know, Tupac actually isn't dead. He's just living in Jamaica at the moment with Bob Marley and, uh... Oh, fuck. Fuck, huh? That was fun. Just living in Jamaica with Bob Marley and, uh... And, uh... And Harrison Ford. Y'all hear about Harrison Ford? Got into a fucking plane crash and survived. That dude's super badass. I wonder if he was working on a movie, like, at the time. If he was, then, like, he's gonna have crazy delusions of grandeur now. He's like, oh. He would be like, oh, they, I didn't die because I was fucking destined to make this fucking movie. And then it's, it's gonna be another Grand Torino. Everyone's gonna fucking love it. And... I'll be like, you know what? I'm glad you didn't die, Harrison Ford. I'm glad you didn't fucking die. Hey! So what happened actually did, uh, happen. For what I, what I said ha would happen, what actually did happen. I got an HP upgrade right before the devil room, so let's go. And it's fucking Krampus! Yes. Yes, let's fear him, shall we? Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Ah, god damn it. Oh, come on. Oh, what the fuck? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Got him right when he was shooting. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Alright. Should we take care of Krampus? We're about to go down to the to the caves, so I feel like Boomerang is way more way more useful in the caves, whereas most of the bosses in the caves, I'm pretty confident about, so this uh, Head of Krampus is not going to do too much. I, uh, I don't take Head of Krampus quite a bit now because it's, you know, since the nerf. Uh, mostly because it's not as good. It's still pretty good, but I'm spoiled, man. I'm spoiled, and how do you get those fucking horns? Oh, Loki's horns. That's the image for that. It's interesting. I wonder what, like, it would look like if you got all the horn items, all the horny items, and just, like, mash them all together on Isaac. That would be interesting. Did I go in there? I totally think I definitely went in there because I lost my black heart in there, I'm pretty sure. And it ended up being, what, garbage? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just straight garbage. Let's go in here. Oh, that's right. We do need to donate. So instead of... Instead of using these uh, coins to buy stuff, we're just gonna donate. Oh, and there you go, 740. I'm glad we can make so much goddamn progress in this game. Yeah, the games make it super easy for us to advance as uh, as the lost. Oh man, my stomach's doing that thing where it's like uh, it's full but it's not. Have you ever have you ever uh, gotten eccentric one night? With the, uh, with the herbal remedies, if you get my meaning. And you eat a whole, like, pizza and a half. And then your body's just like, well, you're full, but, you know, you're not gonna feel it because of all of the shit that you did to your brain. 
quite recently. That's um, it's a little bit how I'm feeling right now. Except I didn't, you know, do nothing questionable. Instead, I just uh, drank some Zquil last night to go to bed. Woke up a little bit early this morning to to get some work done online, and uh, and because of such shenanigans, I uh, drank some energy juice, some of that energy juice, and um, get the fuck out of here. Drank some of that energy juice, and uh, oh come on, there we go. Can I shoot them from all the way over here? Yes, I can. Okay. And, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, and, uh, yeah, because, um, because of all that, my body's, like, trying to figure out what it needs to do right now. It would help if I opened the window a little bit, I'm sure. Let some cool air in. How the fuck did this... Did you see that shit? This room finished without me killing the enemy. That's some interesting-ass shit. I sort of like uh, the the pulse worm in this case. I know it does absolutely nothing except it like makes our tears wobble about like like the bass and the dubstep songs. But just me, just it looking like that I have bigger tears helps me out personally a lot. It makes me feel like this uh, this run isn't total garbage, even though my left brain. Is like, yeah, this run is just straight total garbage. Come on. You come at me, dog. There you go. That's how it's done. Hey, we found the item room. Honestly, if these item rooms don't start getting like amazingly good, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking take everything that I have right now and shove it into every single orifice that this computer has in spite in just pure unadulterated spite I'm, uh, I'm not feeling so well you guys uh, I am coming off of uh, like a, a few colds was, uh, the, I had this nose thing for the longest time turned into a throat thing going back to being a nose thing and uh, and now it's like I, my body doesn't know which one is which. Now I'm sure my body knows. It's my brain that doesn't know which one is which. So I'm, I'm starting to treat my body a little bit abusively. I'm sure he's sick of it. I, uh, I abuse my body every fucking chance I get. So, uh, so, you know. At some point, you know, enough is enough. I did read an article recently online. Uh, that was called, like, all crazy body hacks that you could do to yourself. Um, most of them being completely debunked by the person who was writing the article because he tested them out, like, uh, personally. He was like, I tested all these shits out and they don't fucking work. Just thought y'all should know, so I wrote, wrote a fucking article about it. Um, one of them is that, uh, is that you only need, like, what, what is it? Two hours of sleep per day if you sleep at like uh, 30 minute intervals every six hours. I was like, that is the fucking dumbest shit I have ever heard. You're, first off, no one ever goes right the fuck to sleep. You know, once they close their eyes. They need a fucking, like, at least an hour in itself to get to sleep. Even if you're using, like, drugs to get to sleep. Well, first off, if you are using drugs to get to sleep, yeah, you'll go right to sleep. But also, you, you're you not supposed to wake up in a half hour. It's fucking dumb as shit. And even if you are one of those people who could go right to right the fuck to sleep, like, in a matter of seconds, regardless of where the fuck you are, how are you going to go to sleep every half hour? What you doing in, in, the, in your day where, like, you're allowed to sleep every six hours? every six hours okay yeah he's afraid right now this this shouldn't be too hard um but yeah like each shift at my work place is like six to seven uh all the way up to like nine hours how you going to go to sleep for a half hour 
and like in the middle of work, right there. You're gonna you'd have to schedule it around work. If if you're you know if you're unemployed, I guess it's a different story. But at the same time, like if you're trying this weird sleep thing. Then, I don't know. I guess you would have to be unemployed and not working at anything else in your entire life to try this, like, fucking sleep schedule right here. Either that or you would have to be, like, a sleep specialist or something. You're like, oh, I sleep like this because I'm studying sleep. Yeah, that's it. And your employer would be like, well, fuck you, dog. It's really difficult to pay you when all you do is work fucking six hour intervals every like every couple days or so because you're so tired from exhaustion that's that's what the guy in the that's what the guy in the fucking uh, article said at least he was like after like a week of doing it and he, even he himself was like you know what I'm sure it takes more than just a week to allow your body to get used to only sleeping for two hours a day and only sleeping and like and trying to get to sleep as soon as fucking possible once you close your eyes. It's tough to like train your body to do all that shit. But even after that, what what the fuck are you doing at like two in the morning to like eight in the morning that you're gonna fucking oh wow that you're gonna fucking only like that this will be useful for you. What do what do I want here? Maybe the pills. The fucking cards have not been like good here. Yeah, I'll take you out. Right. Uh, we're done with this one, though, I'm pretty sure, yeah? Unless I want to test for the secret room. Let's test for that secret room real quick. Yeah, maybe it's right here. Most likely. Yeah, there it is. Hey! Didn't even need to use any keys this floor, but I fucking did. What you gonna do about it, bitch? Alright, we do have the hangman. The Hanged Man. I'm not gonna go into that, like, uh, the gauntlet room, mostly because I don't have the HP to do it. But I will get this. This will turn the Hangman into a pill, and I'll also drop this other pill. This is the Bad Gas Pill. I got two Bad Gas Pills for 15 cents. How you like them fucking apples, dog? Alright. I, I did it that time. Oh, I should use the Hangman to get this fucking bomb. It's, it's whatever, though. Hold on. Let me see if I can't find the second secret room. If it's full of pills, that could be good too. And what do you know? No second secret room on this floor. I'm sure there is, but also I'm not going to fucking find it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going in here. Oh. Oh, you like to shit on dicks for a living, do you? Let's uh, take that. Oh, hey, baby. Long time no see. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been to the basement. Um, fucking with these catacombs for right now. You jelly? You jelly girl? Oh, fuck this room. Fuck everything about this room and all of its uh, parental figures and guardians. Alright, you know what? There we go. This is how this shit's going. Really, you just have to not be a fucking pussy and you know take the shots uh, as they come. Mostly because they just, you know, curve around you. As long as you don't move, it should be fine. But then again... But then again, like, if you don't move, they'll just jump right on top of you. Hey-ho! I'm still not doing, like, a good, like, a, an amount of damage that I'm proud of. And it looks like these dudes are starting to fucking kill each other. I am a big happy man about that. Like... I'm glad they updated the game so now green shots can kill enemies who shoot green shots as well. Because otherwise, it was totally unfair. It was unfair to us that uh, that a room could contain, like, a small, tiny room could contain up to, like, eight fucking uh, green shot dudes. Um, and it's like, and it has, like, a ton of gaps and narrow hallways in that same exact room. And what if you're playing as the Lost, like, then you're just fucking dead then, I guess. That's that's the room that you always die in. So I guess never find that room and you will win as the Lost. Or get Holy Mantle 9 lives, that way when you die in that room or take a hit in that room, it doesn't affect you as much. But, um, I'm sure 
I've seen it happen where people uh, play as the lost and they just win without taking damage. I am not one of those fucking people, apparently. I thought I was, but I guess I was wrong. Let's, uh, let's come back here. There we are. Just gonna do this uh, one at a time right here to decrease decrease uh, the uh, harm ability on our part, I guess. Um, harm ability obviously being the uh, next uh, next big hit by uh, Garo attacks. It's, uh, gonna record it in the studio later today. Harm ability. I already got the the verses uh, verses written up. Harm ability beats out stability. Gonna take my friend Billy out and ride us a Philly. Yo! Sick Rhymes. Rick Grimes. Gonna give your girl the dick about six times. Oh shit! <laughs> oh man, that was that was not bad. For <laughs> I listen to a lot of rap, believe it or not. Uh, but I'm not good at freestyling. I'm, I'm sure that was like the slowest like uh, punchline to a freestyle ever. But at the same time, I'm really proud of it. <laughs> that was uh, that was really that was funny. That was funny in my eyes, in my uh, in my opinion. Let's grab that right quick. What you got for me, dog? Oh, what? Did you kill you? Yes. All right. Still haven't found the item room. It's uh, it's got to be here somewhere, right? Come on. C like, come on, Mr. Zomboid. S Zomboid poisoning. Obviously, on a play on Scromboid poisoning. Oh, got that crazy. Fucking. Alright. Got that crazy puns coming in. Puns you never even fucking anticipated. That's a fucking restaurant pun right there. Scromboid poisoning. I don't know if I told you guys recently. I've been telling everyone. Oh, that's right. We can carry two pills. That hasn't, like, affected us at all, though. Um, but I just recently watched on Netflix the, uh, Sherman and Peabody movie. So, sorry. Uh, sli slip of the tongue right there. Sherman and Peabody movie. Um, it's a pretty alright movie. Not a big fan. Penny is probably, like, my, like, I hate that character. Because all kids are fucking like that these days. She's hanging with fucking Sherman in his bedroom. He's got, like, the coolest shit in his bedroom. And she's on her fucking phone. Can't can't appreciate good shit, these kids these days. Honestly, you have to resort to playing the video games and whatnot on their phones instead of playing it on the good old console, like the Lord Jesus intended. Um So about that. <laughs> Never been uh, labeled as a blasphemer, but you know, there's always a there's always a you know first time for everything. Are we really gonna take mysterious candy? Why not? Oh, Libra. Oh, thank the Lord. Libra is a great fucking item. It gives us six of every consumable, but also it equalizes all of our fucking um, stats. Uh, any stat that is uh, higher than another stat, it, uh, it raises that lower stat to be at that higher stat. I'm super happy about this, actually. It's a great pickup, and also it makes some pretty terrible items not so terrible. Let's, uh, let's continue on. What is this? Oh, yeah, we haven't fought this uh, boss yet, have we? Are we? Oh, fuck. We're probably not going to get a deal with the devil here. At the same time, I'm totally all right with that. Okay. Alright. Okay, so when the wretched 
is fucking scared out of his mind. All he does is shoot, 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 no matter what. Uh, the good thing about him... Oh, fuck. The good thing about him shooting, though, is that he doesn't actually spawn anything when he shoots. Which uh, makes him a little bit easier. I can't believe we're doing such goddamn little damage this, uh, this late into the game. God damn it. Oh, come on. It's, uh, it's when I get in those dire circumstances, like at the half heart point I'm at at the moment, is when I start playing my fucking best, isn't it, huh? I feel like this is just encouraging me to play more as uh, the Lost right now. Because it's like, well, as the Lost, I know I can only take one hit. So I, uh, I play better, like, almost, like, exactly, like, almost in incredibly. Uh, just because of that. But, check it out. We didn't die, so now I'm gonna f probably just fucking die uh, from lack of concentration. But, uh, it happens. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good good fart, buddy. Good job, buddy. Go ahead and take a sippy sip of a, my, some more energy drink. Maybe it'll help. I don't know. Okay. 29 minutes, huh? It's a, it's a marathon run over here. 29 minutes and we just barely got to the bucket. Okay, okay. You guys freeze a little bit. And one more hit and I die. Just how I like it. Oh, wow. You saw that fucking dodge right there? Dog? There you go. Now you're frozen. And I take all of my shit back. You know what, Pinky Eye? You're coming with us. Fuck yeah, you're coming with us. Alright, these guys, when they shoot their uh, poops, they also shoot shots out. I uh, need to keep that in mind. Also, you don't want to get too close to them when they're headless. Because they also shoot shots out. Oh, that's going to fuck everything up quite a bit. Oh, wow. I almost took damage just straight up. There we go. That's nice. Ten bombs. Alright. Double double our bombs a little bit right there. And, oh yeah, we got the steam sale last floor. So we can maybe buy something here. Like, this seems good because we are always taking damage. But also, this is good too because we can carry a bunch of pills with us all at the same time. We still need seven cents though to make that shit, either of those shits, happen. And uh, I don't have seven cents. I'm close. I'm almost at seven cents. I would like 14 cents. Just so I can uh, take take care of all that shit, but uh, you know maybe it's not gonna happen. Yeah, see, in a room with just fat flies, it's good to just stand still. They shoot around you as long as you don't move, you'll be fine. Uh, just continue on here. Uh, I might have a slight death wish on this uh, on this run, just because we're doing the shittiest the shittiest uh, get well. We're doing bad. Also, we're getting really bad stuff from the item rooms slash shops. I have not gotten like a single attack upgrade since uh, Cat of Nine Tails, and it's affecting my play honestly. At this point, I, I I hope to be like just killing these dudes softly, whispering in their ears as they as they take their final breath. Oh, hey. Secret room. Hopefully, what I want from the secret room is not fucking Black Lotus, not raw liver. Fuck all those shits. What I want is fucking missing minerals. Explosive diarrhea, huh? Yeah, let's take this in here. There you go. Hey. Ho. Let's uh, continue on here. Yeah, we already went into the shop and the item room here. Oh, hey, buddy. How you hanging? Okay, oh, wow. Hey, buddy. Yeah, what do you know? Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, okay. So those, those Absorby dudes actually drop fucking shit now. And that shit just happens to be... God damn it. 
That shit just happens to be trinkets. It's good to confirm such things in our mind, because uh, it helps out a lot, and we're fucking dead. Well, that was fun. <laughs> uh, uh, well, it must have been fun for you watching me, like, completely fucking in pain the entire time trying to make this shitty-ass Eden run work. Too bad it didn't. It's cool, though. Next time on God Attacks by Advisor of Rebirth, we're playing as a fucking lost, and we are going to fucking win. There ain't no doubt in my mind it's gonna happen. We also might come across the mind uh, while we're playing, which is actually one of those items get that if you get as the lost, it's actually pretty good. So, we'll do that all next time. Uh, like, subscribe on the channel if uh, you're enjoying my shit so far. I know I am. I, uh, I love laughing at myself. It's one of those weird traits. Also, please uh, comment on the video if you have any tips for me or if uh, you want any tips yourself I'm a pretty knowledgeable man and I'm also open to discussion so give me a holler I don't bite I promise I'll catch you guys in the next episode though peace out